Hi everyone, I'm here in rainy Boise, Idaho with another great rig tour for you. This is a 2000 Chevy Suburban with about 240,000 miles on it. Again, it's raining, so I'm sorry if drops are getting on the on the camera here. I'll clean those off occasionally. Kim would prefer to, to not be on camera here, so I'll be doing the tour. And let's start with the outside here. This is a swing away cargo box here. Tons of storage in this. These are normally around $800. She found this for about $100, just a steal for this really great storage setup here. It just mounts into the, the looks like a two inch hitch receiver here and got the lights all set up on it and everything. Really great setup. Let's open it up and see what's inside here. Inside here, we've got two chairs, a table, a, uh, a rolling fold-up table here, and then underneath just a ton of little pieces of, of firewood in here. And apart from that, there's all sorts of grilling stuff and there's some hiking stuff over here, uh, hiking fanny pack, magnet fishing gear, extra car fluid, so just a just a tremendous amount of storage, just a ton of storage in this thing. And then it just swings on back, back in place here, just clicks into place and then a, a pin secures it. Just like that. Two pins secure it. So here's a look at the rig here from the outside. Let's go on inside. You know, the great thing about Suburbans is that there is so much space in these, and so you can afford to have a little little entryway area here. And a lot of vehicles, you just don't really have the luxury of having that much space. And so here on the, on the, at the entrance, there's the Alpacool fridge. We, I think it's the C25 version. And this is a no-build build. So there's no wood involved here. There's no platform really so there's there's this trifold mattress here it's like a few inches thick this foam mattress here on top of that there's another mattress like a, a thermarest like a two or three inch self-inflating thermarest that's what's in this light blue sheet right here on top of that minus 35 degree winter sleeping bag then a couple other blankets and sleeping bags on top here and so the bed is on top of this bin here this bin here and then to build up the, the height difference here, there are some other blankets here. And really it's just the, that trifold foam mattress that's kind of giving the rigidity to the bed here. And then on the foot end, the mattress just kind of goes onto the, this platform back here. And so no gear needed, no, no build needed, no plywood, no two by fours, just a couple of of plastic bins here. And so in this bin, she's got clothes mostly in packing cubes, like for, for backpacking or for travel. In this bin over here, there's some recovery gear and, and, and various car tools, things like that. And then for the, the front curtains, she's got these blackout curtains on these straps, these cam straps. The cam buckles here just looped around the grab handles on each side. And then in the middle, there's a, an upholstery push pin going into the headliner to, to keep the, that middle part up and out of the way. And speaking of the upholstery push pins, they hold up this little ceiling hammock too. This is from a tent. This is from an REI tent. And again, use a couple of, of upholstery push pins. Kim said that she occasionally has to um, push those back in after every trip or so just to make sure they're tight, but otherwise um, it holds everything nicely. And so there's a, there's a collapsible Lucy light in there and then a, a few dog toys in there also. And so here's looking back out through the entry door and I'm sitting on the bed right here. Nice comfy bed. And she's got two of these big Plano plastic bins one on the side, one at the foot of the bed. Now these bins are interesting because they can be opened up from either side. And so for this one, it doesn't matter too much. It's just opened up like this. But this back one can be opened up either from this side or from the outside. That's just the way the, the latches work on these bins. So between the two bins here, she's got her 
several gallons of water. Then in this bin, there's food and a tent and some some toiletries and a book, just kind of a miscellaneous miscellaneous uh, drawer equivalent in this suburban camper here. On the side here, she's got some some elastic nets. She said she doesn't really like these very much. They're not quite tight enough to really hold things, so they're not the solution she's gonna keep with long term. But for now, they're holding a few things in, and she she drilled a hole into the plastic here and then used these these kind of knobs that I think came with the net to uh, to attach the the net to here. So she's got a knife and little carabiners and a little towel here and some some wipes and then a headlamp right here, a Kindle, a couple of radios, a little Bluetooth speaker, some soft little toys here. This is a water filter. Some more paper towels. On the other side, we have a similar setup with the uh, with the net and a laundry bag here and Reflectix used to cover the windows. And during the day, those are stowed behind the netting over here. And then in this, in this bin right here, this is all the kitchen gear. The various kitchen and cooking items in there. And then in the back here, once this swings away, it opens up this entire area for cooking. And so again, her, her food and kitchen supplies, cooking supplies are all in here. Her stove is right here, paper towels, again, water, and then the stove can sit here and she can sit right here and still be covered, covered by this. So if it is raining a little bit like it is now, like I can sit here and I'm not, I'm not being rained on at all. And she'll set up her table right here. And so everything is kind of within reach right here when it's all set up. And again, being covered by the, uh, the rear door here that flips up. And so to give you an idea of just the space in here, I can, I can sit up, not all the way, I'm, I'm, I'm bending my neck a little bit here. I'm 5'11", but uh, I can sit up pretty comfortably in here. Like, this isn't an issue at all. So you can get dressed in this space here, take your shoes off and on. And uh, yeah, plenty of space. Let me, let me show you guys fully extended here. Nice and comfy, all the space in the world. I've got plenty of headroom here. I still have, you know, two feet of space down at the bottom end where that, where that second bin is. Just a ton of space in these Suburbans. That's why they're so great for, uh, for these SUV RVing builds and adventures. So here's the, the view from the driver's side. And so here there's some, again, just miscellaneous tools and items and paracord. And this is an interesting thing. This is a thermocell mosquito repellent. And so you, you stick these refills in and it kind of spurts out this little chemical that keeps the, uh, keeps the mosquitoes at bay. And then on top of that, again, wool blankets, tarps, various things that you might need. And those help, again, prop up the bed here. And this is a, this is a 30 inch wide mattress here, which is wider than the 20 or 25 inch mattress that a lot of people use in their cars. Um, she sleeps, Kim sleeps in this with her, with her little dog. And so she wanted it a little bit wider and the Suburban can handle it. I mean, there's plenty of space in here. And then in this bin, again, this is, these are tools in here. This is the portable camp toilet right there. And then back in here, this red bag is a first aid kit that's easily accessible. You can just reach in and grab that whenever you need it. This is the toilet that she has. This is by Clean Waste. It's basically a, a rectangle and the legs pop out like that. And then the little lid comes up and you put your bag with its chemicals in there, or just a, you know, just a trash bag in there and, and do your business. Nice and compact, doesn't take up too much space. Looks really sturdy though, looks very solid. And then under the hood here, we have this auxiliary battery, this house battery that is charged through the solenoid. And the solenoid makes sure that, that the, the fridge doesn't drain, the battery doesn't drain the, the starter battery in the car here. 
And again, I've, I've heard of mechanics doing this and their mechanic friend did it. By the time this video goes live, there might be a video on his channel showing, on the mechanics channel showing how he did this. Um, if not, I'll try to find another video to link in the video description. But yeah, this is the, the battery that the fridge runs off of right now. And she has a 50 watt solar panel also that she uses to help charge this when staying at camp for, for a while and when she's not driving. Uh, she doesn't have that in her car right now, but that is something that she does use to just make sure the battery is charged up all the way. And this little solar charge controller here is what she plugs the solar panel into. And then this is the view from the front seat, just looking back at everything. The bed, the storage bins, the nets on the side, net on the ceiling. Great setup in here. And I think that's it. Big thanks to Kim for letting us see her, her rig here, her 2000 Suburban. Great vehicle. I really like these Suburbans. I think they make for great SUV RVing rigs. Tons of space. They're off-road capable, four-wheel drive. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll be patrolling the comments to answer them. And if you guys have an SUV that you'd like to feature on this channel, if you have a camping setup you'd like to show to the world, go to suvrving.com and uh, shoot me an email. Use the contact form there and hopefully we can meet up sometime and and shoot a video of your rig. So thanks again. We'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out Adventure Know How, my new site, where you can gain access to a map of all of my free campsites, plus monthly bonus videos that you won't find anywhere else. Learn more at adventureknowhow.com. And for links to everything else SUV RVing related, visit suvrving.com. Links to these sites and more will be in the video description.